Welcome back to NC Bassin. Today we're on Lake James. I'm putting in Canal Bridge. It's a tournament. I'm going in blind. Didn't get to practice any. Lake's still at full pool after that. All those floods from the hurricane. I mean, the lake was ten foot over the dam, so a lot of debris probably washed in. The lake looks pretty muddy right now. I can't really see. There's so much fog. It's still dark. I'm hoping that's gonna put the fish up on the bank. Hopefully, power fish. Hopefully, catch a smallmouth. I have not caught a smallmouth all year. Thanks for everybody that subscribed and hit six thousand. Really appreciate it. Huge thanks to all the guys who've been watching my channel for years. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. There's only 27 people in it today. Need to get in top three to get paid. Need 18 inch fish. I think three 18. I think the big ones are going to bite in this muddy water. Hopefully, catch a smallmouth. Hopefully, catch three giants and win this thing. Let's see how it goes. Guys, this is what you call foggy. I can't. If it wasn't for my maps, I wouldn't have any sense of direction right now. This is crazy. It's 8 35. I have not got a bite yet. Might be a tough day with this muddy water. It's looking like the guys that put in a curse scott are catching them. Maybe I should went in the curse scott. I know that water's a lot cleaner up there. I hate that lake. Fish here. Yeah. Finally. Doesn't feel big, but man. And he come off. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. On the revolt. Man. Needed that fish. Finally got a bite though. I wish it wasn't a fish. But it Oh my gosh. I'm a jig. I guess I gotta throw a jig in, in a bush. Yes! Wow. Did not expect to be flipping a jig today. Right base minima jig. Tidal blue color. Man, in that bush over there. That's. Give me a clue about what to do. Went to the side that the sun was hitting. Sitting there fishing rock all day. I guess I need to be fishing bushes. Not tiny either. Not huge, but definitely will take him. I'm sure I wouldn't have lost that one on the crankbait. But... Yes. fish was that not a f I think I hit it stick and it's going so there he is big and no, not big at all but not slack in the line there we go Man, I think I just had a bite before that too. Yes, yeah, in the marina. That's a mean mouth. No color. Heck yeah. I mean, he just hit it and there was nothing but slack. I think that's what happened to the last one too. I thought he hit a rock, but then I didn't feel nothing. And it just felt like it was swimming towards me. There's a mean mouth. Who knows? He could be small mouth. No, it's got the tongue patch. It's definitely mean mouth. Most of these fish now are mean mouth. Even the ones that look like small mouth, it's just genetics with the small mouth and this Alabama spots are weird. Sometimes they can be half and half and look like one or the other. Sometimes they look like perfect hybrids. The sad thing is there's gonna be no small mouth left soon. It's gonna be all Alabama bass in here because they take over small mouth. They breed with them, they spawn in the same area so they just take the small mouth away. 
That's awesome though. I'll count that as a smallmouth though. First smallmouth of the year. You know he's a mean mouth, but we'll definitely take him. 16 and a half guys. Hope they keep biting the crankbait. I'd love to get on a group of mean mouths or small mouth. Especially to bite the crankbait. I won't mind flipping the bushes and catch a largemouth on a jig, but I'd rather catch them on a crankbait. Twenty and a quarter. Bite on the jig. This is deep right here. Oh yeah, big and stay hooked. They might just be hooked weird. Don't be a catfish either. He's fighting weird. This may be a catfish. I just have one hooked in the side or something. It's a daggone catfish. God dang it. Of course. Man, these flatheads hit so hard. It's not even a big one, luckily. Little flathead. Too bad I can't measure him and count. Of course, man. God, I thought that was a big smallmouth. Well, little flathead. I've never caught a giant one of these. I really would like to catch a real big one one day, but these guys get huge. That's a little one. There's flatheads in here. There's very, there's no, really not blues in James. There's very few people have put in here. They've never been stocked with blues. Well, guys, midday update. I mean, it's 1120, so I've been fishing for four and a half hours. We got eight and a half hours. I got two decent fish. Need one kicker fish. I'm just glad I got a few in the boat. Seems like the bite's picking up the warmer it gets, so these fish are in the sun. They're not even in the shade. I'm making a pedal to the windmill side. Try to find some points. I want to fish from a rock. I mean, I did catch that one largemouth in the bush. I probably should fish some wood. I'm going to try to find a rock that's in the sun. I'm definitely going to fish the dam on the way back. It looks like nobody's knocking out of the park yet. We got a 51 and a half and 51.75. And Jacob Davis got a 20 and a quarter smallmouth or mean mouth. So he must be on Lake James. Kerscott or Lake James. Seems like the guys that went to Kerscott are catching them. Seems like their bite started out early. Everybody was putting fish on board early. It seems like the, the Lake James guys are not just now starting to catch them. Hopefully that means the bite's getting better. This warm, this muddy water should warm up fast. Just needed one big kicker fish to have a chance. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, the camera wasn't going to us then. I need a third fish. A limit. I fish behind a boat all day. Good cast. And still got one. No! Golly! Another mean mouth. He wasn't huge, but he definitely wanted to help. He was probably like a 15 and a half. Golly! Oh, I can get a bite on the spinner bait. It was on the bank. I threw it on the bank. It around a stick and somehow it went in the water and got bit. Largemouth on the spinner bait, not these little tiny small mouth slash mean mouth. That's a little one. He looks 
looks pretty close to pure smallmouth. I'm sure he's not. Knocked the crap out of it. He don't have a tongue patch. Definitely got some spot in him though, but he's close to it. a lot like a smallmouth. A little tiny one. Didn't do that great on Linville, so I got that one, and then I had another one to smack the crap out of the crankbait, but I didn't get him. Who knows how big it was? I gotta land these fish. I can't believe it hasn't took off yet. Look at that queen snake. Well, can't catch fish, but I can catch a queen snake. It's awesome. They only eat crawfish. They usually live in clean streams. It's a little baby one. But you don't ever see these guys at the lakes that much. Just I'm sure he got washed down. But a lot bigger. The last one I caught was huge. It's like four and a half foot. Big as they get. It's cool. They're a lot brighter color. This guy's just dull. He's probably about to shed, but he's about to go in bur burmation where it gets too cold but when it gets warmer they'll come out like we get those 70 degree 70 degree days in january they'll come out he's still cold that's one reason i got so close to him well that makes my day a little better i caught one of those in 18 years used to catch them all the time though in creeks and rivers well guys, tough day, finally got home. Somehow, with only 47 inches, still ended up in 10th place somehow. Looks like the top two were at Lake James because they both caught smallmouth, all smallmouth, or mean mouth probably. I think third and fourth were at Kerscott with largemouth. Picked the right late, but I think I just couldn't figure the fish out. No practice, went there winging it. Tried to fish rock all day. I don't know if that was the right move. Probably should have hung around that marina where I caught the two, my first two fish. I tried, started trying to fish a bunch of rock and points and it didn't work out. That's the last tournament for the year in Foothills. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on NC Bass.